Good day to you and welcome, I'm Bakerization and today I'll show you One-Way Heroics. One-Way Heroics is a roguelike JRPG with some classic Japanese look and feel as well as some interesting mechanics. This game by Smoking Wolf offers a roguelike, which is an interesting one, and which has a gameplay which is not as heavily influenced by RNG as others from the genre. Well, now to the game itself. You start in a castle, and your goal is simple. Go to the other side of the world and destroy the Demon Lord. The name One Way Heroics come from the one most important features of the game. You must go forward. You can of course go up and down the map and sometimes even backtrack a little, but with every move, attack, ability or item usage, you use up a turn. And a portion of the map is consumed by darkness every single turn. Therefore, you need to go forward, and you cannot simply grind for better loot and gear. Sometimes you cannot even visit places where you can get these things, because you simply get to them too late. However, you have a mini map available, and you can see interesting spots, well, with a small amount of practice you can see them, pretty early on, and adjust your path for it. The combat system is as simple as you might imagine. You have one normal attack and a few abilities which differ from one class to another. There are 8 classes and some of them are harder to play than the others and almost every single one needs to be played a little differently. Even though some of the classes might seem similar, they have some bonuses which might make them more convenient. For example, the pirate class handles similarly to the swords master class, but as a pirate you have extra damage against chests. Yes, you can pick locks, but you need to unlock this skill, and thus, you usually need to smash those chests. As I mentioned right now, there are unlockable classes and skills. After each run, which takes up to 30 minutes, but usually much less, you get your scoreboard and number of adventure points. These points can be assigned to a few things. Unlocking new classes and skills, such as swimming, lockpicking or different passives, and improvements of the dimensional vault. You can store some items which you gathered during the last playthrough in the vault and get them from it at the start of your next game. This can give you an extra boost which you will need while playing on harder difficulties. There is a solid number of game mode options, each of them offering interesting features which change the gameplay substantially. For example, as I mentioned right at the beginning, this game looks and feels like the majority of Japanese games. It is not only due to the aesthetics and game mechanics, but also because of the music and the fact that this game supports only 4 to 3 resolutions. I really don't know why the Japanese hate widescreen that much. You can currently buy One Way Heroics on Steam for 2.99 euros or on Playzone for 199 euros or your original equivalent. It's a great price for a game which has high replayability and offers countless hours of gameplay if you're as stubborn as I am. One Way Heroics is an interesting roguelike RPG which offers great replayability and randomness which is not annoying but adds each playthrough different feeling. The main problem of this game is the support of only 4 to 3 resolution. If you like roguelites, you will probably like even one-way heroics, and if you don't, well, this can be a good starting point, where you can get used to the genre's mechanics. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to take a look at my other videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, or right away subscribe to this channel to get notified about new content. Well, and now, thank you for watching, and see you next time.